because they had some certainty. They didn't, it wasn't certainty now, but it, it was going to happen. Yeah. And then afterwards, that slowed down with the NDP. They were wanted only, they only wanted to settle total. You had to, if they had to, had to settle everything or it wouldn't happen. Yeah. And uh, then when the Nishka Treaty took place, Campbell and Mike DeYoung and Gary Farrell Collins, or Gary Collins, I guess. Uh, Nishka was under Clark, Glenn Clark. But it was federal. And Campbell and DeYoung and Collins started a private members, a private lawsuit against it. That's true. Right? And That's when they true. started the private lawsuit against it, yeah. everybody knew that Gordon Campbell or the Liberals were going to be the next government. We thought it was going to be five years earlier before it was. Yeah. So immediately, and I know this from guys that were directors of West Coast Transmission and another 50 companies, um, they all had meetings and say, look, if Campbell's going to be in here and he's going to have a referendum and he's going to destroy all the treaty process, we can't invest in British Columbia. So I blame Campbell for the five years, the last five years of the NDP government for destroying the economy even more. Well, Campbell did a 360 on all of that. Well, he's done a total 360 now. Yeah. That's true. And uh, quite And we have a election coming up right now. Yeah, Florida. that's maybe part of the reason. Anyway, the whole thing, we can agree on one thing. The whole Native Indian question has caused uh, some in uncertainties. It, it's like that. Time and time of, again. Yeah. Sure, because if people, you, you, if you, you don't want to open up a lilac farm someplace if it's got a land claim against it, do you? No. No. Why would you do that? I'm not going to do that. No, no. So if you haven't got a settlement of some sort, or the possibility of a settlement, I mean, there was one year there only two people put a million dollars into mining in B.C. where normally we'd have half a billion or so. Cause, and they both Which, had Native so Indian you've just, backgrounds. You've just emphasized for me one of the reasons why we wanted to make cash settlements with the individuals yep. to finish and finalize it. That's right. Get, However, get, if you don't finalize the thing... Yep. So I'm going to ask you one more thing here because you're the you're the patriarch of this. I think you are. STV. We got an election coming up. I'm in favor of STV. How's Bill? I've got 12 lawn signs on the boulevard. No, no political lawn signs. I'm not pulling for any party on my lawn, on my boulevard. But I do have STV signs. I am a supporter of STV. Now, I've ordered it, two and they haven't been put up. A yet. lot of people uh, will find it very difficult to explain STV, and I realize it may not be a simple system. It may not even be perfection. There will be flaws and faults. However, uh, I like it particularly since most politicians are against it. And I'm saying <laughs> that's reason to vote for it, number one. That's got Dad Walco laughing. It's got Lillian just giggling. And Richard kid's got a belly laugh coming, and me too. And I also like it because I think we definitely need change. Uh, you know, we have a, a two-party system now, and it's going to stay two parties. A third party is not going to get much of a chance at any time to get in there now, particularly since both parties no, are trying to occupy the same ground. And first pass the vote, vote, vote. Or first That's pass the, the existing polls, system. They're not going to have a chance. The third party doesn't With have the existing chance. system, you're going to have two parties, and it's going to be NDP, liberal, NDP, liberal. You're not going to change anything. And there's a lot of good people, independents, people that belongs to belong to different political parties green party? that could contribute, a Green Party that could contribute considerably to the process, but they're denied any involvement. And most people lose their vote in the election as we know it today. They vote for nothing. It doesn't work. So STV brings about change, and we need change. Now, if it isn't perfect, you can always change it. But if it's defeated, I can guarantee you, I won't be alive, but you're much younger, but most of us here will be dead before they address it again. So we need to vote for it. We, we need, need to, to support it. it. If for no other reason than it's the beginning for change. Don't listen to the politicians, whatever you do. They're against it. So my statement is again, if you're watching this before May 12, 2009, and you live in BC, you vote yes for STV. My guest has been Bill Van Der Zand, and uh, the book is... Bill Van Der Zand for the people. That looks like, is that a CK? No, that's not a CKNW, Mike. Which one is that, I wonder? I took the sign off it, yeah. You that's took the okay, sign we'll off leave it. it that way. We'll leave it off it. It's a wonderful read. When you read it, you'll learn stuff about BC politics you never knew before. You'll have a different idea about a lot of it. Go to BillVanderzam.com. www.BillVanderzam.com. B I L L V A N D E R Z A L M. 
Com. You can order the book, 50 bucks gets it delivered to your door. You got a signature, you got the whole bit. And uh, are we both, are we rooting for Chris Delaney or? Oh yeah, we're rooting for Chris Delaney. He's a very good guy. He's out there in Penticton. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm rooting for him. So if you're up in Penticton, you're also supposed to go and vote for Chris Delaney because Bill likes him and I like him and he's a good guy. Bill, thank you for coming. I appreciate that. Thank you, David. Thank you.